guys, it's me. Um, I've been around. I haven't been in a scrapping mood lately, so that's just why I haven't been posting a lot. So that's the explanation, I guess. It's just that I haven't been feeling. I don't know. It started before I started some new medicine, but uh, I don't know if it might just not be helping it. Um, but I'm starting to feel a little better. So um, as far as the depression goes, I'm feeling a lot better. The medicine's really doing great for that. So that is good. I just haven't been... I haven't scrapped hardly at all, so. But I goes in a journal swap on the scrap beach, and my partner was par partner partner was Judy, and uh, we were to make or alter a journal, and she like made hers, I like, handmade them, and I don't have any way to bind it, so I have I had to buy mine, and I have not finished with it yet. But I wanted to show you guys these amazing journals that she sent me. She sent me two. That's two journals, so. I can only afford to send her one, <laughs> unfortunately, but I wanted to show these to you. Okay, so let me show you. This is the first one that I oh, that I looked up. This one I think is um, it's called a uh, a uh, it's a paper bag journal, and it says "Find your light and then let it shine." And it's got this really cool collage girl right there. It's got this canvas, really thick canvas binding. You know, open it up over here. It's got more collage stuff. I love that little skeleton guy. He's cool. And it's like a, a wave right there. And then these pages, I don't know what she, how she did this. It looks like maybe it was watercolor paint. And she just went nuts with it. And all across the pages, there's like stitching. And the end, it's kind of hard to see. It's not focusing. But you can see the loose thread all over, all over this right there. And stuff like that. It's really grungy and it's just like this all the way through. I mean, she had to spend so much time on this. And there's like a little too many pages right there. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet because the pages are too dark to write on, but like I love them. And this page has two tags. And it says, Let your life shine. Let your life shine. And on the back, it's got, It is about me. So I think I'm going to put photos in here, kind of like a mini album, almost. And then there's several other tags in here as well. And so I've got these two right here. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Got more it's machine stitching that it looks like. Because um, she did that hand stitching, she did a very good job, and it took her a very long time. My, hand, my sewing machine's too big to lug out, and I don't really know how to use it. It's my mom's. Got really cool flowers right there. And then this is really cool, the arrow right there. And then she just collaged this. It really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. And the binding has like this writing on it. It's really cool. Um, I think this is the paper bag. The other one was, I can't remember what, a Zeddy album I think is what it, it was. Um, but she's got these crisscross staples there and a skull right there. And more tags in there. Another page, another page. That one's really cool. And several of these various size pages. Go through this one right here. It's got some diamond pattern right there, which is really cool. More flowers. And then right here, it's just kind of like got this pocket underneath. That. And then this right here, it's painted like with a wavy pattern. And then we have the back. And so this was really, really cool. I am really excited about this one. And this next one is what I'm going to actually keep journaling in. Um, it says Katie. The I is sideways. And then um, the H is sideways. Hunter. And then the rest are just random letters. Um, they don't spell anything as far as I can tell. Um... So well, I don't know how she, what technique she used on this. This looks like she maybe took glue and just drizzled it across and then let it dry and then painted over it. But this is, I don't know if she crumpled paper, but it's so, um, it's so um, hard. I don't know if it would be paper or not. So it's just really cool. And the binding looks like she may have done it herself or, um, because look at that. This, 
going through it, it just does not look like someone, it, it looks like somebody actually just went through. There's no way that this, she may have taken pages from journals that were already existing, but she had to have taken pages from several journals and put them together like this because they just vary so much. And what I'm using this so far, um, for so far, here it, it says, um, it's about me and who I am. And this is really cool. It's very textured. And right now I'm using it for my thanks to God, my prayers, my blessings. And so far I've got two, uh, my two thanks in there. I was almost in a horrible accident this morning. I wasn't paying attention to, I was pulling out left. And the, there was so much ice on my right, my passenger side window that I was really concerned with traffic coming from the right and I wasn't paying attention to who was on the left and I almost pulled out but I stopped one last time to check to see if I could see on the right side and as soon as I started to pull out this car came flying by and the speed limit through there is 40 miles an hour so I mean that would have hit me right in the driver's side and I also had just enough money to buy what I needed at the store for um, Judy's journal for Judy's journal so I've got several pages that are just like this and then there's some sorry that's my phone Let me turn it off there we go okay and then these right here these are textured right here so I could do like some drawing on this or painting and then this right here says dream big and laugh hard and it's another collaged piece I mean she puts so much work into this it is incredible I like I know I'm not gonna do her justice with her journal I'm gonna try so hard get more of these textured pages here and this page right here is like, she is so talented. And then lots of blank pages, more of these pages right here. I think she may have taken like several journals and then uh, taken the pages out. And then there's more of these little pages. And then it's like that all the way through to the end. These are various sizes. They're not perfectly cut sizes, so it's really, really cool. And then that same technique here on the back with that crumpled paper kind of look. And then on the back there's all kinds of letters. And they don't they don't spell anything as far as I can tell again. Um, but it's just really cool. And I wanted to share this with you guys and say thank you to Judy so much for these wonderful. And she sent me tons and tons of goodies too. So many stamps and all kinds of cool stuff. This is really cool. I'm going to probably use this on her journal. Um... But just really cool, like I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like a honeycomb, but it's almost, but it's in circles instead of honeycomb. Um, but it's cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.